Oh. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Four balls. Four balls. Four balls. Oh my goodness. More balls. More balls. Yes. Yes. Hey there, VR fans. This is Eric with another gameplay video. Today I'm going to show you a cute little game we've got in the in the lounge that is perfect for kids and adults of all ages. This game is called Spare Teeth. The concept of this game is basically a mix between mini golf and bowling, which is really exciting. Uh, something fresh and new. Experience that we haven't really tried here in VR before. So we're excited to, to, excited to kind of give this a shot and uh, walk you through the play video. So controls here are pretty easy. Uh, if you turn to your left once you get into the game, you're going to see controls are uh, the ooh, cold little hands. Oh, hey, hang them. Controls are going to be the trigger to interact with objects. The trackpad will actually steer the ball when you when you kind of roll the ball up the course. And the grip button on the side will, will hold the ball and then release when you want to pull. All right? So we keep turning to our left. You're going to see how we can start the game from this console. If you look over further, you'll see there's a high score board, which is kind of exciting. So here we go. We're going to hit this button. We're going to get started. All right, so here we are on lane one. Uh, which you can see is pretty fun. Oh, gumball machine up there, ice cream dancing around. To your left, you can kind of see an overview of the course. That way you know kind of what you're, you're bowling at. Uh, below you, you'll see where the kind of ball return is. And uh, you also see a little button for tips. So if you need some help, you can hit that. It'll kind of tell you uh, some basic tips on the course. You'll know what that toothbrush is about. It is adorable, though. And then to your right, you can see kind of the pattern of the balls and how many you've hit so far, what part for the course is, and how many throws you, you, you've thrown already. So, all right, I'm going to reach out. I'm going to grab this really cool looking silver golf bowling ball, and I'm going to try to roll this up the course. Now, when you release, you can steer. That was not very good steering. Uh, you can steer that ball left and right to kind of get closer into the pins. See now that I've got one throw. Uh, still going for par, so let's see how we do with this second one. Oh, looking better. Oh, no, only got nine. So, again, you're going to use the grip. You use the grip button to pick up balls. You're going to release the grip button to kind of throw them. You're going to use the trackpad to steer. Really simple game. Uh, once you're out of the balls here in the ball return, you're just going to hit this blue button back here. When it makes that little interaction, you're going to get more balls from the ball return. And the balls that were kind of out on the course are going to disappear. So. Here we go again. Go for par. Oh, I'm gonna steer it. Oh yeah, I picked up my par. So now this is a really simple game. Uh, one of the more simple games we have, probably on par with the simplicity of Beat Saber. Uh, only the grip button, only the trackpad. So I'm gonna show you a couple more holes, not necessarily in order, uh, and then you guys can get a feel for how fun and interesting this game is and how perfect it is for kids uh, probably eight years old or older. All right, here we are on hole three. I have our traditional windmill of death. It's gonna clearly not allow us to get through there very easily. The par on this is six. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Make sure you wanna time that windmill right. I would release before it stops. And you can kind of drive by looking at that screen. See if you can get it back around to the pins. Uh, oh, that's actually looking a little promising. You want to hit left and right on the trackpad to try to line that up. Try to clip that head pin. See if we can make some damage in here. Oh, yeah, let's keep driving. I'll run out of momentum eventually. All right, that ball's probably crapped out. All right, here we go. Green ball. There we go. Oh, man. Sliced it again. All right, I'm not going to mess with that ball. I'm just going to get new balls. There we go. Third roll. Oh, I did it again. Jeez. I broke quite a bit. Try to center this up. Oh, that was much better. 
Perfect. Got him four throws, 200 par apparently. Not a terrible score. Here we go. Next hole. All right, here we're on hole five. Par is eight. A lot of these little totem guys are kind of standing in the way. I think if you hit those, you'll get a multiplier, a score multiplier over there. It is tricky to get into that space. Uh, and as you see, if you hit these guys, well, you hit them in the face. Multiplier. So let's see if we can get our multiplier up. Now I'm in multiplier four. It's a pretty good score now. A lob one back there. Oh, that was terrible. A terrible throw. More balls. Oh, underhanded in this game is a little tricky. Normally I recommend underhand, but I'm going to do overhand. Oh, that's better. Closer. I'm clearly wasting my balls. One more shot at that last totem. Oh, that was terrible. All right. I'm going to bowl. I'm going to go right for the pins. I'm just going to lob it. Oh, no bueno. We might be here a while. And drink. Oh, <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Four balls. Four balls. More balls. Oh my goodness. More balls. More balls. Yes. Yes. That only took me 28 throws. Multiplier helped. Next hole. Oh man, that's a tricky one. Here we are on hole 11. We're in the desert now. Par three. Holy crap, there's targets up there. How do you, how do you get this? Oh, clearly I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, you probably gotta hit the speed boosters for sure. Oh, I didn't even get close. Did you just chuck them? Nope, not like that, you don't. Jeez. Oh, poor cactus. So I'll tell you what, if you're watching this video and you see that guy and the target on him, the first person that comes in this lounge and hits that target, I will give a free hour of virtual reality to. So I'm challenging you guys to try to hit that target because I have no idea how you get that. Oh boy. Yes. All right, so you heard it. If you can get that target up there on hole 11, first person to come, first customer to come in and do that here, free hour of VR. Next hole. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Ski ball. Bowling mini golf. All right, here we go. Oh, did that count? Well, oh, that's good. Here we go. Gotta take advantage of those speed boosts. Oh, that's curious. Cool. I'll try to reach over here and grab this ball I dropped. Try over there. It would appear that the better the score is in ski ball, the more pens you drop. Oh, that's not going to be any good at all. Yep, 
That would seem to be the premise. Definitely want to steer it when you're kind of bowling. Remember trackpad, left and right. Oh. Oh man, I'm getting robbed. Oh, hey, keep going, little black ball. You got it. There it is. Fun little ski ball level for hole 13. Not a great score. Didn't find any multipliers. I wasn't looking too hard. Next hole. Well, cool. Looks like we got some high scores. How does that even... Oh, dark guy. Thing on uh, hole 11. I'll give you a free play. I don't know who'll be the first to get it, but I guess we'll see. Until I see you, happy gaming.